Hello everyone. Welcome to at another edition of Tarmac Talking and as part of the ongoing inspiring ADA series uh, ahead of Aero India 2021. Today uh, we have Dr. AK Ghosh who is the project director for the AMCA program. He's been uh, a senior pro with ADA for close to three decades. And ever since the AMCA project came to you know existence, he was part of it. And uh, he will now give us an update uh, about the project. Thank you so much, Dr. Ghosh. Uh, welcome on board Tarmac 007. So the, my first question is, um, where does the project stand now? Compared to last time when I met in the Expo, we have made a considerable progress in this project and uh, I am very happy to tell you that we have completed preliminary design last year and currently we are in the midst of uh, detailed design activities. Detail design mostly aimed at making the, manufacturing the aircraft. So the required data, models, testing, all these activities uh, are made uh, during this phase of this. At Aero India, what is that we can expect from Team AMCA this time? Aero India, well, first of all, uh, number one is the configuration has been frozen after a large number of iterations and testings and improvements. So we are going to show you the latest model of AMCA which is going to fly. Also what we are planning, uh, if possible we will try to bring advanced cockpit which will be AMCA's cockpit to showcase you during this uh, India. That's what our plan is. Brilliant. Advanced cockpit of uh, AMCA likely to be there during this year's plane carnival. So, um, uh, for the benefit of young engineers and designers watching this, could you please explain using the model you have in front of you, some of the features? Okay. Let me first tell for those my youngster friends uh, that AMCA is a fifth generation, five plus generation aircraft. Now what is five plus generation aircraft and how it's different than the existing fourth generation aircrafts which you see flying around now in the world. Uh, well you are aware that there are very few fifth generation aircrafts like uh, F-22 is the first one and then uh, uh, F-35 Russian one is there and also media we see that the China has two fifth generation aircraft. So India is this fifth generation aircraft and what is the first thing is that what is the basic difference between a fourth to fifth generation aircraft? It is the configuration. If you see the configuration compared to the fourth generation aircraft, all the systems can be upgraded in the fourth generation aircraft. But a fourth generation aircraft will never become a fifth generation because the configuration when it designed still is not taken as a criteria. So because of that you will see there are some uh, features like cantic, twin fin, there is a internal weapon bay, serpentine air intake and this is a DSI intake which we are going to have in AMCA and also the kind of shed like there are double ogive uh, nose and we are trying to make it flat here nice bending uh, and these are the some of the important down flatter which is good from uh, rudder cross section less ladder cross section so those are the features which are uh, you know built in the configuration design apart from there are certain advanced technologies which will be put. So in a nutshell, these are the important features which has been incorporated in AMCA. As of now, what are the, how is the work share like? Who are the stakeholders as of now? I understand from again from the reports what we have done before that there is going to be an SPV as well. But before that, 
what how does it look like the current team see the amka program ada has been the agency responsible for design and development now during this design phase ada is the nodal agency a small core team started doing the amka design then along with that the team was enlarged enhanced and then a fighter aircraft design you require because there are so many aspects so many systems that you require a much much larger team so currently the team has spread all over being all over india we are at a it's a nodal agency where the core team designer six there are other agencies like hl hindustan aeronautic limited nl large number of drdo labs spread all over india there are certain educational institutions who are also actively involved and the most important is a large number of private companies also are involved in the design phase of that so we have our work centers starting from bangalore to east west north south everywhere a detailed interview with dr ghosh uh, uh, will be out and uh, will be sharing the link as well in the description so that was a crisp update uh, as part of the inspiring ada series thank you dr ghosh uh, it has been a wonderful experience chasing you bothering you and reporting little bit on you it's, once in a while no and it's not it's my great pleasure always to interact and uh, reply i think you know uh, it has been a great learning also along with all of you see you at aero india i'm sure we'll try to do something else there thank you for all the inspiration we're all proud of you jai hind